Hey guys, it's Destiny and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about something different. I'm going to talk about hair. So I have a perm or relaxer or whatever you want to call it and I've had one for about 12 years now. It's been so long. <laughs> Honestly, I don't, I don't know. Uh, but I got my hair permed for the first time maybe in like want to say sixth or seventh grade because like I was born with a full head of hair and it would take me oh, at that time it would take my mom about like three or four hours to just wash detangle comb through it as I got older I just realized I didn't have the time for that so when um, she permed it I was so grateful and so happy but you know that perms really damage your hair as you keep doing them and as you've had one for a long period of time. So I wanted to talk to you guys today about how I maintain my hair and keep it healthy and growing. It took me a long time to get to a spot where I felt like I could keep my hair under control on my own and so I just thought I'd share the products that I use with you guys. So I just got out of the shower, obviously my hair is, you know, wet and it's going to start tangling soon. So the first thing that I do is I use the Mizani 25 Miracle Milk. Honestly, this is like my lifesaver. This is always, always, always um, in my hair. It became a staple from the time I first started using it. On the back here, it says it's a leave-in conditioner. It controls flyaways, reduces dryness, helps condition transitioning hair. It has strengthening benefits. It um, is made especially for relaxed hair to improve the quality, add shine, all that jazz. Um, and I know when we look at hair products, especially like they claim to do all these things, but sometimes they don't. But I'm here to tell you that this actually does everything that it claims to do and it truly is a miracle so when I get out the shower I literally just spritz it in and I spritz it all over um, I spritz it at the back spritz it at the top you really want to get it in your ends and like I so I'm so liberal with this because it is lightweight it doesn't make my hair feel heavy but it does add shine and it does make my hair feels conditioned and soft and controlled. After that, I sometimes will use the Cream of Nature Pure Honey, not a wave leave-in detangler. All these products are always mouthfuls. This is a relatively new line from them and it's great. It's a little bit thick, so excuse the <laughs> noise. But really a little bit goes a long way with this, especially for me. Um, so I use about this amount, I take it and I just sort of run it through my hair and I notice always that whenever I use this, it adds a bit of shine, it also adds some conditioning and really just makes my hair easier to deal with and again, I'm like, I fully believe in making sure that whatever product you use is getting into your scalp, it's getting into your roots, it's getting on your ends. So a lot of people tell you don't put conditioner like in your scalp because it's gonna make it oilier or on your ends because it's gonna make them all dead. I don't believe in that. I think if your hair needs nourishment, it needs nourishment. So put the product all over, let it seep in, let it absorb into your scalp. Like your, if your hair is dry, you need to give it hydration. Hydration is key for everything. Then lastly, I use a keratin spray. Now, I have a little tie and low for this. I get this specifically from my hairdresser. She's in Brooklyn. As you know, I live in California. We're not going to talk about the relationship I have with my hairdresser. I love her so much. I've looked high and low for this. She's the only source that find it um, but it's called a my salon keratina liquida liquida 
and truly like this just it's keratin it's and macadamia oil and it keeps my hair so shiny and so healthy looking so shake it up I spray this in it also smells delicious like cotton candy almost and like I said it's spray everywhere you notice that I'm hiding sort of my skin on like my face and I do that because I just truly don't want hair products being spritzed into my face and again be generous with this like spray it in there really get it in so your hair can absorb it then I just comb and see how these products together work lovely they make your hair so nice and so soft and you just comb it out I do not believe in adding heat to my hair unless it's absolutely necessary. So I think that is one secret for how I keep it healthy and growing. I also, for a long time, I never wanted to cut my hair. But as I got older, I realized cutting your hair is how it continues to grow. If it gets to a point where, you know, you're not seeing any more length, like cut the ends, it means they're split, it means your hair needs a little bit of a trim just to get it back on the right path. <laughs> so I'm really picky about parting in the middle. So I part my hair always in the middle. For you girls with relaxers out there, I only relax my hair once every three months, sometimes even once every four months. So that means I relax my hair only three or four times a year. So I'm really not doing it every, you know, every six weeks or eight weeks, whatever it may be. You need to give your hair a little bit of time to recover in between relaxers. It's also a chemical, so it's, you know, it's it's bad for your hair in a sense, but you gotta do what you gotta do. And this is how I am able to maintain my hair and save time on it. I props to all you natural girls out there because I would love to have natural hair, but it's just not. So, props to you ladies who are killing it. My mom has natural hair and I love it, but I just don't think it's personal for me. And that's a personal choice. And, yeah. So I always, always, always put oil in my hair for about one to two days and let it sort of act as a deep condition and set in and, you know, restore my roots, make sure my, my hair and my scalp are not dry. I personally do not like to put oil in my hair after it's washed because my hair gets oily on its own and I feel if I put too much oil in my hair it'll start overproducing and then we'll go down this bad cycle of like really oily hair or dry hair because my oil, my hair will expect me to put oil in it. So I pre-oil my hair only. And I know some of you might think that's like absolutely crazy. Sometimes my hairdresser Marla thinks it's crazy too. But this is what I like to do and it's worked for me thus far. So I'm gonna keep doing it. Um, so for those oils, I recently have started using the Wild Growth Hair Oil. Um, my cousin Ashley recommended this, to, recommended this to me. She has beautiful natural hair. It's so healthy and full. And I thought I was gonna give this a try. It has coconut oil, olive oil, jojoba oil, rice bran, rosehip oil, uh, lavender, peppermint, grapefruit, eucalyptus. Like it is just formulated with a load of um, great nutrients and ingredients for your hair. And so far it um, really has added back some life to my hair, which like I didn't even realize it was losing. So I highly recommend trying that. And then I also have this concoction here, here that my hairdresser makes on her own, um, which as far as I can tell, it's clearly if you can't see, it has sunflower seeds and 
oil in it, like literal sunflowers. Um, it smells amazing, but <laughs> Babe actually thinks it smells like Pez. So whenever I put it in, he's like, oh, here comes the Pez. Um, but it truly does smell great. Uh, so, and I know that it has eucalyptus and peppermint because I can feel them tingling my scalp a little bit. But yeah, those are what I used to pre-treat my hair before wash day. And I just thought that I would share that with you guys in case that's a step you might want to try. So yeah. All right guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, leave a like, a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.